Hey ladies and gentlemen, so I just wanted to make a quick video to help you understand uh, what you are doing in today's Flipgrid. So um, over the next couple of days, we are going to be talking a lot about the family and we're going to be talking about the responsibilities of the different members of the family. Um, one of the responsibilities of the elders, uh, the older people um, in West Africa was to share family histories, family stories. But they were not the only ones whose job it was uh, to share these stories. In West African society, they actually had professional storytellers. And these storytellers, their job was to share the stories of the people in their village. Okay, And these professional storytellers were known as griots. Okay? They were highly respected members of their communities, um, and they kept the history alive for future generations. And without a written language, it was up to these griots to inform others of their own history. So the griot stories, they were entertaining as well as informative. And they often told the past events and the deeds of, of people's ancestors. So I'm sure that your own family has examples of stories or experiences that different family members have gone through. So today I'm going to act as one of these griots. I'm going to act as a storyteller and I'm going to share my own family legend uh, that took place long before um, I was born. So my dad, he was born in a small town in the state of Michoacan, Mexico, and he was raised by his grandparents. And he, he grew very close to his grandfather, um, my great grandfather. So to this day, my parents have a picture of my great grandfather sitting in their living room and he looks to be around, you know, 30 years old uh, with his hair combed to the side, kind of like mine. But his most unique feature were his eyes. They were two different colors. He had one brown eye and one blue eye. And he's staring back into the camera with these piercing eyes as if he could see into your soul, finding out what you were all about. So he was a very special individual with an interesting life. So he was the local medicine man, and people would visit him when they were suffering from particular ailments. Um, because my dad was so close to my great-grandfather, my dad would go everywhere with him, even on these trips to heal the sick. So my dad remembers that his grandfather uh, would forage in the forest, and he would come back with different plants that could be cooked and eaten and boiled and made into teas to cure those who had fallen ill. So according to family legend, my grandfather went to visit a neighbor who was suffering from a cancerous tumor in his stomach. So doctors had told this neighbor that there was nothing they could do for him, that he only had about a week to live. So my great-grandfather quietly assessed the situation, and he began to perform a type of healing ritual by placing a small copper coin onto the belly, uh, onto this person's belly button. And as the ritual continued, he spit on the coin. And my dad noticed that the coin began to turn black, began to turn black. And almost as if the, the coin was absorbing or drawing out the cancer from this, this man's body. And so by the end of the ritual, the coin was, was tarnished. It had turned completely black. And when my grandfather went to lift the coin, it, it crumbled in his hand. It turned into dust. So by the end of the week, my dad claims to have seen the same person who was bedridden, deathly ill, walking around town, running his normal errands like nothing had happened. So that story, ladies and gentlemen, has never been, been written down. It was passed on from my dad to me. And it's important to me because I never got to meet my great-grandfather. It gives me some insight on who he was and where I come from. Until the day I die, I will never forget that story. So what you are going to do is you are going to have a conversation with your mom, your dad, call up grandma, call up grandpa, talk to your aunts and uncles, okay? Talk to whoever will talk to you, okay? And find out a story from the past about your family, okay? Find out, you know, a family legend. So it could be about anything, okay? Maybe your great uncle, um, maybe your great uncle was a firefighter and he saved someone from a burning building. 
Uh, maybe your grandfather was involved in the Vietnam War, you know, and he has some stories. Uh, maybe it's the story about how your, your parents met, okay? Your stories could be just about anything. I've had students in the past share ghost stories, okay? It's right around Halloween. What a perfect time, right? Maybe you can ask your parents, hey, what's the scariest thing that has ever happened to you, okay? And see what they tell you. So your job is to find out a family story. Talk to your family members. Talk to whoever will speak to you. Find out a family story, okay? And I want you to share that story in your Flipgrid, okay? Share that story, and then, um, and then yeah, we'll go ahead and take a look what your, your stories are, and, and hopefully we'll be, we'll be pretty entertained, okay? So go ahead and find out a family story from the past, all right? Have a good day.